everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is another video from sunny, sunny Chamonix. I'm just out on a run at the moment and I'm about to meet up with a special, special guest to this channel, which is Hela Sidibe. He uh, is the first black man to run across America. I interviewed him when he was doing that, when he was halfway across over on my Instagram channel. And although he's from the US, he is here in Chamonix. And so I thought I can't miss this opportunity to run with him, even if it is pouring with rain, but it's not too cold. I'm out here happy to get out for a run because it's not every day you are in Chamonix. And so I'm trying to run a lot while I'm out here. And what better person to do it with than an idol of mine, Hella. So we haven't actually even planned a route yet, but uh, I think we're gonna be going along the river. Nice flat one. I hope so at least because my legs are destroyed from this last week. We've been hiking, we've been running. We've been just generally on our feet like all day, every day. Uh, long days, but no complaints from me. It's been amazing. Alrighty, so look who we have here, it's Hella. What's up my beautiful people? <laughs> Hella, um, obviously I interviewed you on my Instagram, but my YouTube followers I mean, they must know who you are, but in case they don't know who you are, can you introduce yourself? Like, who are you? What do you do? Why are you here? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm a guy that just loves running, but I absolutely used to hate running uh, <laughs> over five years ago that decided to give it a chance and I'm obsessed with it. I have a run streak going on. Uh, today is actually day 1,929 consecutive days. Woo! Ran from LA to New York City and uh, this is my first 100 miler, and I'm here with Hoka at UCMB, so that's what I do. Amazing. What was the 100 miler you just did? It's called Leadville 100. So you're at 10,000 feet above sea level at all time, and up to 12,000 feet plus, and uh, you're getting 15,000 feet at 100 miles. It's one of the best oh most my iconic God. races in the world. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I imagine a lot of uh, my followers will have heard of Leadville. Um, so you are currently still running. Guys, Hella ran the day after he ran his 100 miler because he's got this run streak. So yes. he kind of has to, right? Yes, and it was one of those things where I felt really good to be able to. It wasn't much, it was two miles after, but um, I have to make it happen. Yeah. No the circumstance, that's always the mindset. Amazing. And uh, how are you finding Chamonix so far? I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Mountain view everywhere. Yeah. And uh, the community. You just can't go wrong with this place. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you here as well. Thank you. <laughs> One of the things that really inspires me are people who haven't always done running, yeah. who come to running like not necessarily later in life, but like not as a kid, you know? Yeah. You get so many track stars. People who are great show promise from the age of like 10, 12, 13, whatever, who then go on to become great runners. And like, that's amazing, that's brilliant. But yeah. what I love is people who have done loads of other stuff and kind of fallen into running as like a way to, I don't know, cope with mental health problems or just like experience the outdoors just because they love it. Correct. And they found that by themselves without having the kind of competitive edge. Yeah. You used to be a footballer, right? Yes. I would say thank you, football, because of you, I'm running, because you made me absolutely hate it. Uh, for those who play football, I don't know about you guys, I hated fitness days. I hated having a day off, because the following day, the coach will say, well, you guys have fresh legs, we're going to have to do some fitness today. Oof. So, football, the running was a, and so as a fear, as a punishment for the right. American teams, because we're all at fit fitness. We're yeah. not as, we're not as technical as the European but that is changing, guys. We're coming to you <laughs> very much. Sure, so we got was, we got Jim Wormsley this year in the UTMB. So, where the mindset was, we're gonna be better than you, so we can outwork you. Right. Um, but some of those fears I wanted to face in 2017 because of certain things that I couldn't control, 
even though I had a professional contract, there's so many issues, immigration and things that were putting me down. And I just decided to say, you know what? Control your, the things you can control. And what is one thing you're afraid of? Running came to my mind immediately. So two weeks ago, turns into we're going to year six now. Amazing. Yeah. I love that, that's so impressive. When did you start to enjoy running? Like after, cause, cause that could take me a good long time to enjoy running. Mine was immediately. Really? Yeah, since day one, because I went out there and it was a 10 minutes goal, 10 minutes a day. And I told myself, no coach is yelling at you, nothing. Just give it a try. I got obsessed immediately. Really? Yes, because I felt like I was doing something for myself. Yeah. And wasn't pushing myself because of someone else. Yeah. And uh, it was spring was in the air, it was May. Oh, amazing. And I couldn't wait every day. And the 10 minutes for two weeks didn't even last a week. I found myself running four miles. Whoa. Every week, not even purposely. I'll start my watch and keep going and do loops and get home and I'll be like, whoa, that was already four miles. <laughs> day is over. So, Sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think the mindset changes everything. And that doesn't have to be for everybody. You don't have to love something right away for it to be your purpose and passion. Yeah. You just have to give a chance and opportunity because it'll come up on you. It will. 100%. Yeah. To give some balance to that and some contrast, when I first started running, I was so bad at it and I hated it. And I think that was because, like you were saying about your coaches, like yeah. I was pushing myself to be fast and good immediately. Uh -huh. And I think that's the problem. Like we see people doing certain times on social media, on Strava, whatever. And we want to like yeah. Yeah. emulate that and do exactly the same. And yeah. It takes time, you know? It does. Like you would have found, even though you loved it straight away, it takes time to get the fitness and the legs and the strength. And yes. Once yeah. you start to get that, then you start to enjoy it more. And remember this, every run you see on social media isn't as real as it gets. So I honestly like to show my run, not like get a 30 second clip. Every run you see from me is raw. I'm in the middle of a run. Nice. Beginning of the run, right end of the run. And I make sure that I know my pace so if the audience asks, I tell him. Yeah. And sometimes I get carried away. Many times we seen a run. It could look like I'm kicking. Yeah. I'm going hard, which yeah. is reality. But am I holding there the whole run? No. Yeah. Sometimes am I? Yes, because you have your good and bad days. Yeah. So I just don't pay attention too much to what you see on social media because um, at the end of the day, it's uh, what you're able to do for yourself, not what others are doing. Because no matter what, however fast you think you are, Someone's faster. 100%. And however slow you think you are, someone's slow. Just appreciate what you have and where you're that's at. That's what matters, yeah. Love that, yeah. Alrighty, so we're about four and a half K in. Well, I am because I ran from the hotel. Really enjoying actually the cooler weather because here in Sham it has been hot, hot, hot this summer. And we were learning earlier today about the uh, glacier melt and how. Like it's retreated so much over the last 40, 50 years. That's scary. It is really scary. <laughs> Hello, hey, you're, you're a vegan, aren't you? Yes. And is that for like environmental reasons so, or? Honest truth, um, I watched Earthlings with my fiance the year before I turned vegan. Didn't do anything to me. Right. And watched Foxer and I the year later. 20 minutes in, I'm like, okay, I have good health, but still, I'm never putting an animal in my mouth for the rest of my life because of selfish reasons. Right. But didn't take even a week. Maybe two days later, I saw a video of a baby of a calf. And I'm like, how could you take that milk away? And right. then it became ethical. Uh, um, yeah. Immediately, so. And I watched Earthlings during the transcon uh -huh. at night. Wow. I was sick with myself. Uh oh. That why didn't this bother you, Hella? Yeah. Uh, a year, but, you know, a few years ago. I and, think, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I think it's not until yeah. you give your mind the space to yeah. think about these things that you really notice. Uh -huh. And like, it was the same with me. Like I was, I've been pescatarian since I was four years old. Yeah. So I never eaten meat really. And then I ate eggs and dairy uh, for a long time, 18 years before I went vegan. Yeah. But as soon as I did that, which was sustainability reasons mainly, yes. I then suddenly thought of all the other reasons yeah, as so well. Maybe. So we're not as more ethic than personal. Yeah. Because I'm like, nowadays, anything you can eat, y'all. You listen to me? I can eat vegan. Yeah. Does that have to be healthy? Probably not. Could it be healthy? Of course. Yeah. Um, could it make me run across the country? It did. <laughs> can I be an athlete that I want to be? I can be. Right. So it's like, what's my excuse? Yeah. And knowing that our environment or climate 
talking about that melt, it's like, okay, what do I do for my part? We don't have to do a lot, but if every of us do a little bit, we go a long way. So that's the mindset and not trying to be like a preacher, but the biggest impact on the environment right now is agriculture because they gotta produce so much food to feed these animals yeah. that's destroying the, the planet. And some of these animals don't even get to live for a year. They just yeah. rush them to maturity and, and murder them. I said the word murder. I know it's hard to hear, but uh, Flora is doing what she can. I'm doing what I can. Are we perfect vegans? No. no but the fact that we're trying, I think that's the most important part. And I got better, so much better from six years ago yeah. when I first started. And, and also, like, you kind of don't even need to like talk about it. You lead by example. That's what I love. Like, I don't talk about veganism nope, at I all, really. Bring it up, bring it up. No, because yeah. I just kind of want to lead by example. I don't want it to be something that I necessarily yeah. like defines me. Yeah. But it's a major part of my life. I've been plant-based for six years now. Oh, so we're going on to seven, so <laughs> nice, seven same. Yeah. Um, and, and like, I am the best athlete I've been. And I had the most energy you. immediately. Yeah. I still playing football. My team were asking me, how come you're not tired? I fought my teammates when it's after the game. If you don't feel tired, you didn't leave it all on the field. I said, I disagree. Because I give all I got and I feel pretty damn good. Yeah. And I can go for another match. Love and that. And teammates started, what are you eating? Yeah. Coaches used to kick me out of training because they were said to save my legs. <laughs> but I just had the energy. Yeah. And even feeling that was encouraging to, to do this. Yeah. And, and it doesn't necessarily work for everyone. But like, no, take we can all, yeah, exactly. We can all do a little bit. Yeah. And I that's what I love. I won't call turkey immediately. So just think. It doesn't happen with everybody. Yeah. So dip your toe in the cold water and test it out. Yeah. And slowly walk and it'll warm up, yeah. warm up to you. Exactly. Yeah. And there's no judgment. It's just like yeah. what we can do, we try and do. Yes. Right guys, I think this might be the most scenic track possibly in the world. We're There's just gonna have... One in Boulder. <laughs> oh yeah? But this might. You think this beats the one in Boulder? Uh, it might if it does slightly. <laughs> but this, I'm it's sure there's places that we've never seen. Yeah, exactly. So we That's can't true. be like, okay. No judgments, yeah. but, but it's pretty what good. What have we seen so far? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna pop around here because I've yeah. never actually run here before. Run past it a lot, but... Yeah gonna get some pics because like you know it's not every day that you're somewhere like this right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> So our run is done, we've done just under 6K. How are you feeling? We did actually like 100 miles right now, UTMB guys. We're just being <laughs> humble No, but it was nice and short and I feel good. And I realized whatever you give, that's what's important. It's not about how, it's what you can get out, out of the day. Even 10 minutes goes a long way, y'all. Yeah, exactly. And it adds up, yeah. Everyone I'm sure loved meeting you. I loved running with you, so You're thank, well, thank you so you for having much. Me. Yeah. Guys, she is awesome. I remember when I first heard about her, I'm like, wow, this is cool. I get to talk to her. She is badass, she runs hard, she does hard things and she's trying to do her best, so that's what you all should do every day. It means a lot, yeah. thank you. Yes. <laughs> what a dream. It's not often you get to meet your heroes. Uh, it's probably very obvious that I think a lot of Hella. I think he is a very cool guy. He's done some pretty cool stuff, so yeah. Uh, I am very pleased that I got to run with him and he, you know, when you meet people, they say never meet your heroes um, because they're always disappointing. And I'm very proud to say that <laughs> Hello, it was even better in real life than uh, on social media and that is saying something and it was nice for me to get out today as well it's pouring a rain sometimes it's a, a bit easy to say well you know I'll just wait for the next sunny day which is fine but um, actually it was amazing and we've had so much heat recently that actually getting out in the shade and on a cloudy rainy day was kind of nice so yeah 6k done just running back to the hotel and then shower and then later today we are following the UTMB course uh, runners around the course and I'm super excited for that because 
last year I, I left just before UTMB started so I actually missed the whole race and um, this year we're gonna get to kind of follow it around see the elite athletes see what they get up to and um, experience the whole thing so yeah super excited hours of recovery what <laughs> Chamonix is not at altitude but it is at a thousand meters and since I am fairly unfit right now the thousand meters when I go for a run I mean it's better than it is further up the mountain but like I can really feel it I mean I'm pink right I can feel the altitude last time when I came here we came um, a few days before I raced and even just a couple of days of acclimatization really helped but this time I think it's because I'm quite unfit I'm feeling the altitude every single day <laughs> So I need to get back to running. But that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed meeting Hella. If you've not heard of him before, what are you doing? Are you living under a rock? Definitely go and check him out on social media. He is at Hella Good on social media. I will put his thing here and um, you can go and check him out because he is super inspirational. And whether you run every day or whether you're just starting running or you're trying to improve on your running, his content is just, it, it just gets, it makes you want to get out there and get the work done. So, I mean, anyone who can do that and get people more active in a positive way is a winner in my book. So definitely go and check them out. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. This will be my last video from Chamonix. Unfortunately, I won't be filming as we go around the UTMB course tonight, but I will be creating content on my Instagram. So if you aren't already following me over there on there, definitely go and follow me on Instagram. I do also have TikTok and I've put a lot of content from this week on TikTok. I think you just search either Flora Beverly or at Food Fitness Flora um, and you should be able to find it on there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely make your way out to Chamonix if you can. It is easy to get the train from London. It is really not difficult. It's also apparently easy to get the train from Germany, wherever you're based, unless it's the US. In fact, only if you're based in Europe, it should be fairly easy to get here, but definitely make your way here if you can, whether it is during UTMB week or not, because it's a very cool place to be and the history of the place is incredible and the vibes, outdoor activity, enthusiasm is epic. So definitely make your way here if you can. Otherwise you can just follow all my content on social media because I'm sharing as much as I possibly can while I'm out here. That's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.